During his freestyle for the BET Hip Hop Awards, Kirk Franklin says this. Like Biggie J and Nas, the greatest take of both, the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. Within Christianity, we know that the lion of Judah is Christ and that the lamb of God is also Christ. When Israel sacrificed the lamb for the Passover, that was a foretelling of what Christ would do for us and that he died and gave his life to restore us and give us righteousness. The fact that Kirk Franklin is using this language and he knows this language really well to say that the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat is very telling. So why did Kirk Franklin say this? Goat is often translated to greatest of all time, but goat is also commonly associated with a lot of pagan symbolism. Things like Baphomet, for example, are often tied to the goat. And even in scripture, it's revealed that the sheep and the goats are to be separated and broken apart. Who knows why he made this line in this verse that he wrote. But as Christians and believers, we know that the end times false prophets will come. The only person that we should look to as our standard is Jesus Christ. Stay vigilant and let's continue to light up Babylon. Kirk Franklin, I don't mind you dancing. I don't mind you having a great time. Just because you're a Christian don't mean that you got to be, you know, just sitting down and wading in the water. But what are you doing backing that thing up on somebody else when you got a whole wife? How disrespectful is that? And I don't understand why you thought that was funny. I thought that was cute. It's not. That is disrespectful. And even if you didn't have a wife, the way that lady's looking at you, like, that's inappropriate. You guys are at a Christian concert. People probably showed up because you was the headliner. And look at your behavior. You ought to stop it because you already made a huge mistake when you said the lion and the lamb is going to bow down to the goat, I don't understand that one. But now you're backing it up on somebody else when you got a whole wife. Get yourself together and quit making the kingdom look bad. What the hell was that? <laughs> Let's get it. When you look at how Kirk Franklin dresses and behaves at times, including his body movement, you can clearly see that something is not right about him. He acts as if he is possessed by a foul spirit. How can you call him a Christian musician when he dances in a sexually provocative manner? Look closely at how these men carried Kirk. Men don't act this way. Then compare his posture in this video with his pose in this photo with the likes of Donnie McClurkin and Marvin Sapp. Why is a full-grown man carried weirdly by other full-grown men? It is strange and awkward. I could care less about what the Christian community thinks of me. I could care less. I could care less about what the Christian community thinks of me. I could care less. say something about this they're gonna say oh he's religious he's always talking about people but the reality is right you've crossed the line now i believe that you have to have balance you don't want to be so far to the right you're super religious and christianity can't be fun but you can't be so far to the left you're lucy you know liberal anything goes it's important for baby christians to know that there is a line and you must work out your own salvation with fear and trembling hey marcus rogers ain't gonna be there kirk franklin ain't gonna be there maverick city none of these people are gonna be there when you stand before god that's why he's gonna tell a lot of people depart from me i never knew you you were doing and following what other people were doing instead of seeking god for yourself and so christians must know the bible talks about having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof right there's a lot of people that say they're christian with their mouth but they're living just like the world moving just like the world i'm not saying these people are going to hell but wrong is wrong and when you talk about it right because this one's his friend with that one and this one is friends with that one then people say oh well we, we got to put you to the side because you was talking about this guy and he's a staple in christianity look wrong is wrong right is right Go I am confused. Does Kirk Franklin know he a gospel artist or no? Watch this. As ministers of the gospel in music, we have a responsibility, just like those who preach the word, to hold up a banner, a standard. I'm not saying that being a Christian should not be fun. I'm saying hold up a standard. 
There are young artists now growing up and looking at him and his example, looking at us as an example. And if we can't be an example, what are we doing? I'm not judging him, no, and dancing is not sin, but twerking on a church mother is disrespectful. That's just period. This is not discord. It's simply a reminder that we need to hold the line. If you agree, type hold the line in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, and share this video for more. Where's all the Kirk Franklin fans at? Well, let's get into this. You know, all the controversy with T.D. Jakes and everything surrounding that whole situation. I don't like to talk about ministers, but when I saw this video, Kirk Franklin backing it up on stage. So many songs that have blessed people have been written butt naked. Next question. And I listened to that about writing songs butt naked. I found a picture of him sitting in TGJ's lap, and I'm like, hold on a second. This is a guy that I've been listening to on our family trips, getting down in the car. And there he is, worshiping Jesus on stage. That don't look like worshiping Jesus to me. So I stand up for truth, and I call it like I see it. And Kurt Franklin, I don't know what you got going on, but in the past, I used to listen to some Kurt Franklin. And a matter of fact, it sounded like this. But now... Before you say I'm hating on the man, come on, what type of spirit are you operating in? Because to me, it looks like it's a performance. Doesn't look like worship. It's not glorifying the Lord. And I'm not even going to talk about T.D. Jakes, but people in the like minds hang out together. Spirits hang out with other spirits, if you know what I mean. And the more I watch so these dance moves, listen. That have blessed people have been written butt naked. Next question. Really? But but not one sock on. <laughs> I straight out the bed. But if you come over to my house, don't sit on that piano bench. <laughs> sit on that piano bench. <laughs> that piano bench ain't had nothing but cheeks. <laughs> for Jesus. Next question. Cheeks for Jesus. You should be ashamed of yourself. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. So whatever comes out of the mouth and whatever fruit we see, the Bible says, do not judge, lest ye be judged. But the Bible says that you can see a fruit from a tree. So you can take a look at some fruit and you know, oh, that's an orange tree. That's a lemon tree. The fruit don't lie. And this is not the fruit of the spirit. I'm telling you, comment below what you think and tag some Kurt Franklin fans. Wow, that is quite the revelation. Kirk Franklin, someone many of us have looked up to as a minister of God and a servant of the Lord, is confessing to writing some of his best songs while completely naked. This raises some serious questions about what kind of spirit is being represented here. First, let's turn to the Bible for guidance. In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 3 to 4, it says, But among you, there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. What Kirk Franklin confessed to Shannon Sharp is not just inappropriate, it's downright troubling. As Christians, we are called to a higher standard. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 tells us, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Writing songs while naked and then making light of it on a public platform does not align with offering our bodies as a living sacrifice. It's a mockery of the sacred act of worship. This isn't about hating on Kirk Franklin, but rather about holding each other accountable to the standards God has set for us. Let's also address the influence of spiritual leaders. Matthew chapter 7, verse 16 says, By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? The fruit we see from someone's actions and words reveals their true nature. Kirk Franklin's casual and almost proud confession doesn't show the fruit of the Spirit love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, 
and self-control, Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to 23. As Christians, we need to be discerning. The Bible warns us in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 to 4, for the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. The entertainment industry, and sadly even parts of the Christian music industry, can fall into this trap of prioritizing performance over genuine worship. We must stand firm on biblical principles and not be swayed by what is popular or entertaining. Comment below what you think about this situation. Do you agree that this is not the fruit of the Spirit? Let's get a discussion going. We need to uphold our Christian morals and not be afraid to call out what is wrong, even if it comes from someone we once admired. Remember, as it says in Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Let's continue to sharpen one another in our faith and walk with Christ. Thank you for watching, and God bless. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video. See you next time.